So consider i cubed, i to the fourth, i to the fifth, and then considering the pattern that's happening, we will go through everything. I know i is i. That's just i. And I know that i squared is equal to negative 1. So, not t, i rather, i cubed is equal to i squared times i. Well, i squared we know is negative 1 times i, and so it's equal to negative i. i to the fourth, well, I know i to the fourth is just i squared times i squared, which is negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1. And if I think about then, if I think about i to the fifth, well, that's i to the fourth times i. We just figured out that i to the fourth is 1, and so i to the fifth is equal to i. And so there's a pattern going on here. I go i, I go negative 1, I go negative i, positive 1, back to i. If I would go i to the sixth, well, you know that's i to the fourth times i squared, and so that's gonna, this is 1, and so I get i squared was negative 1, and again, and so what happens with i to various exponent, it just cycles through these four values, i, negative 1, negative i, and 1, back to i, negative 1, and so on and so forth. So then if I want to find i to the 35, well, if I think about, I know that i to the 32 times i cubed, and I chose 32 because I know that's i to the 4th to the 8th, and i to the 4th is equal to 1, and so that basically cancels out, and so I get i cubed, which I know is i squared times i, which is negative i. And so in order to find these big powers of, to the power of i, I, look, I divide by 4, so I get 32, I get 8 times 4 is 32, with 3 extra. All these 1's to the power of 4 become 1, and I'm left with this remainder of power, which then I simplify based upon the pattern here.